Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at this Yahi Tech Lift Top Coffee Table. This thing is awesome if you guys just want somewhere to eat while you guys are at the couch, or if you guys just need some hidden storage for puzzles or games, remotes, stuff like that. This is the 47 and a half inch long version by 23 and a half inches. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the build quality, how long it took to put together, and we'll go over exact dimensions on things like the storage compartment. So let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start things off with the build quality. First of all, this is a plain white texture and I was really happy with the shipping. It was very protected and we actually had no damaged pieces. They do come with some caps here that help protect the corners during shipping and some people just leave those on. I was a little bummed that they didn't give me enough tape to cover up all the holes. I think I have something to fix that later. As you guys can see, it's not completely flat here. There is some like dimension to it, which I enjoy. And the corners do look like big blocks. It has a nice effect. But of course on the inside here, you can tell that they're just little corners. So that is what the bottom looks like. There are some braces down here to help keep all your storage nice and sturdy. This edge does have a little bit of wear already, but honestly, it's something you don't even notice. And of course, all the sides are basically identical. The texture is really smooth as well. It seems sturdy enough to put some plates there if you guys are trying to eat here. But I will say the corners are very sharp. If you guys put it together right, it is all white. You shouldn't see any harsh edges. And I really like having this bottom storage here. And there's definitely enough room under here for my Roomba. All right, so I found that this works best to stay in the center to open it up. They do give you some little foam pads here to make sure that it doesn't hurt the top when you guys are putting this down. This is probably the most important part to this coffee table. You guys have this hinge mechanism and you guys need to be really careful putting this together because there is a spring that helps snap this into place and you don't want your fingers getting caught in there, hence the warning sticker. There are definitely a lot of screws, so it seems to be very sturdy. And overall, the table definitely sits flat. It's pretty heavy and it does feel sturdy. And like I was saying earlier, they do come with these little plastic corners. If you guys want, you guys could keep them on there, even paint them just to make that corner a little less sharp. And you guys do get some extra supplies. I think one of every single bolt slash screw. The only bummer was the instructions were a little out of order when they stapled them, but I did eventually figure it out. So we're gonna do a quick test here. When I rock it, you can see it move a little, but we did just have a dinner on here and it actually felt really sturdy enough to even put a laptop there to do some work. So let's see if I could shut it just with one hand. Okay, sweet. So in regards of how long it took to build, it did take me about two hours, but I did this by myself until the very end because it's almost impossible to put the top on without two people. So basically you guys start by building the legs and then you start building this little frame. And then once you guys get those five main pieces, your coffee table is already almost done. Then all you guys have to do is attach this and the top and the top definitely takes the most time just because of all those screws. And just to put into perspective, there's about 24 screws holding the tabletop to those hinges. The build quality is definitely pretty strong and I'm happy with it. And I think it'll stay for a while. The only thing I might change is I might put a vinyl top, something to match more of this color, just because it is a little bland, but this was something I knew going into it. All right, now let's do some measurements. So first we're gonna be starting with the length. It is about 47 and a quarter inches long. And it's about the same 23 inches and a quarter, basically rounds to 23 and a half inches wide. Now for the inside width of what you can fit inside of here, it is just a hair under 19 inches. And the length of the inside looks like it's around 42 and three quarters. And it's almost exactly five inches deep. So you guys could really put a lot of stuff into here. But our plan is to hopefully find some puzzles that we could do inside of here, maybe install a little light strip right here so that we could do our puzzles inside of here and then pack it up when we're all done so we can eat right here or just relax and not have a big mess. All right guys, so that is my quick review of this lift top coffee table. I think this is a great idea and I'm really excited to sit down and edit this video right here. 